I'm going to demonstrate how to tie a standard PMD nymph. Uh, this is a, a very good hatch on the, the bighorn starting in uh, late June, early July. Uh, it brings up a lot of nice fish, but the, the nymphs are there, of course, long before the hatch ever really gets going. So the, the fish can be eating on the nymphs for two to three weeks before the hatch ever really takes off. And on the bighorn, uh, the PMD nymphs, uh, as they start to mature, are essentially a chocolate brown in color. Uh, sometimes they get a little bit of a dark olive to them. Uh, but we're going to tie one that's essentially a, a chocolate PMD nymph. And uh, use a standard size nymph hook in a size 16 or a size 18. Uh, six aught camel thread for the, uh, the size 16s and 8 aught for the size 18s. Uh, start your thread right behind the eye. The other ingredient is fine gold wire. So tie in your wire back to the right past the, the barb. The tail is just a brown hen hackle. Clip off about you know, five to six fibers for a tail. Uh, measure it to be about the length of the hook shank. And tie it in. And just trim off the little bit of the excess on the tail fibers. Go back to the end of the the hook and then the dubbing that I like is Arizona synthetic peacock hair's ear and you'll see that uh, when you look at it it's actually a, a, a tannish color but once it gets wet it turns a very nice chocolatey brown and it has a little bit of a shine to it so it, it has that kind of natural shiny look to it that all aquatic insects do and so put some a thin amount of dubbing on your thread and you want to keep it fairly slender so dub up to just past the halfway point on the hook and then wrap forward your gold wire Tie off the gold wire, then clip it. And for the wing case, I use a chocolate brown sparkly merger yarn. So tie in the yarn right at the front and work your thread back to right about where your dubbing ended. Trim off the end of the yarn. Take more of the Arizona Here's Your Dubbing. Still apply it to the thread sparsely, but we're going to tie the thorax just a little thicker. And I like to tie it just a little thicker right where the, the two pieces of dubbing meet. And then pull the, the yarn over the top. And then I take my thread and make, uh, make two tight wraps to hold it down. Then take the thread back and go tie it right behind where you the, the sparkle yarn goes over the first time. Pull it back. Go make another two firm wraps. And then apply some Zappa Gap or some head cement and whip finish. Trim your thread. Trim off your sparkle yarn. And then I trim 
some of these straggler fibers so they're just a little bit more neat I mean you want some that stick out just a little bit you just don't want some that are excessively long and that just all adds to the bugginess of the the PND nymph because it is a, a fairly good sized nymph especially for the bighorn